What's good? This is Trey and the topic of this video is how to approach a woman in a public place. All right. So uh, let's say we are we are at um, Walmart, right? We're at a department store. Um, and uh, you see a woman that you find attractive in one of the aisles. Now, if you really find her attractive, you're probably gonna start getting a little nervous, right? Well, it depends, right? Like if you were socializing and you were talking and stuff like that, you probably won't be that nervous. But if you're kind of like in a more, maybe like a business mind or focused on some other stuff or whatever, you know, the thought of approaching a woman out of the blue is gonna get you a little nervous. But what you want to do is no matter how you feel, you don't want to resist how you feel, right? If you're going to approach a woman, if you're fighting yourself and you try to approach her, what, you're gonna, what she's going to feel is she's going to feel something is off, right? Because you can't genuinely connect with someone if you're stuck in your head, worried about yourself, self-conscious. You know, it's very difficult to connect with someone. And women are very in tune with their emotions, they're in tune with their feelings. So if you try to approach her and you're in conflict with yourself, like you're fighting your mood or you're not in a good mood or you know what I mean? You're in conflict with yourself and you try to approach her, she's going to feel something's off and she's going to reject you and she's going to logically justify it. You're probably going to logically justify it. But what actually happened there is you were communicating the wrong things to her through your, through your, uh, your body language, through your energy you're giving off through your tonality of communication and it turned her off, right? So one of the things you wanna um, you wanna understand or be aware of is when you see a woman you find attractive, the first thing you need to do is embrace whatever feeling comes up, right? If it's a feeling of nervousness, you embrace the nervousness and say, you know what, I'm nervous, but I'm still gonna go and talk, approach this woman and I'm gonna talk, uh, approach her and talk to her from a nervous place. It's okay because the only way you're going to get over the nervousness is by, um, you know, accepting it, experiencing it, and then realizing that it's not that big of a deal, right? You're getting, it's almost like you, you need to get these references that, why am I getting nervous, right? If you could tell yourself, you know, uh, give yourself experiences to show that you're getting nervous, your, your extra nervousness is not necessary, then your body will start changing. You know what I mean? Your body will start realizing, okay don't really need to get that nervous for that situation, right? So like for me, when I just started going out and talking to women or whatever, I was nervous, right? And it was like, you know, I had really tough for me to approach women that I found attractive. But once I realized, okay, the nervousness is not going to go away unless I, you know, get these references or these experiences of approaching while I'm nervous and showing myself that it's not that serious. The worst thing that can happen is the girl says, oh, no, thank you, or I have a boyfriend or whatever it is. And that's the worst that's going to happen. So if you keep showing, if you keep getting those experiences, your body will start to realize, OK, we don't need to like, you know, send all this nervous energy throughout the body like that, because it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a threat or that big of a problem. And after a while, you start developing confidence. But you can still you can still approach a woman and have a good conversation with her if you're nervous, if you accept your nervousness. The problem is when you try to fight it and resist it and act like it's not there or pretend you're not nervous. And then a girl can feel something is off and she'll she's going to say no because of that, because you're giving her a weird feeling. Right. But if you would accept the way you feel, accept your nervousness, accept whatever feeling comes up and approach her from that place. The interaction is going to go a lot better. You're going to feel better about the interaction, no matter how it goes, because you weren't resisting it. You know, you weren't resisting how you were feeling. You weren't resisting um, what could happen in the interaction. You just go in and sort of just trust. You just trust that whatever is supposed to happen is going to happen. Right. And it's, it's basically getting to this point where you are OK with any outcome. You are OK with her saying yes. You are OK with her saying no. You're OK with um someone coming and interrupting it you're okay with you walking up and her walking away without you know right when you walk up she starts walking away because she didn't even notice you were coming and she has somewhere to go like there's so many different things that can happen somebody can call her right when you walk up 
Like you can go up and say hi and she, her phone could literally start ringing. You don't know what's going to happen. So you have to just accept that the universe is going to do what it's going to do. But you have made a conscious decision that you find this woman attractive and you want to go and approach her. So you want to approach her and, you know, there's different things you can say. Like if you want to talk about what's more effective and what's less effective, like, you know, my understanding is, you know, if you approach a woman in an indirect manner, it's more effective because it's less threatening. It's less, um, it, 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 the energy is more neutral. So she can kind of like, you know, she doesn't have to put her guard up right away. Right. Cause if you go direct, which I, I will, I approach women directly sometimes and I approach women indirectly. It just depends on my vibe and how I feel. But, you know, if you approach a woman directly, like you go up and say, Hey, I think you're beautiful. You're creating a frame. You're creating a frame. And if she continues speaking to you, she has to accept that frame, right? The reason why some women will kind of reject you when you, when you approach in that manner is because you haven't given her enough information for her to accept that frame. Because you're basically setting a romantic or even a sexual frame when you say, I think you're beautiful. You know, because you're basically saying you're interested in her, in her romantically, right? And if she continues conversation with you, she's she's basically, in a sense, uh, accepting your frame. So sometimes she will reject you or say no. Not necessarily she's rejecting you or saying no to you. She's saying no to that frame because you haven't given her enough information for her to want to accept that frame. So sometimes better go in direct, you know, maybe just ask her a question or ask for directions or something like that just to feel out the vibe, right? Because sometimes, you know, if a girl is just not in a good mood or whatever, it doesn't make sense for you to go up to her and, and be direct, right? But at the same time, you're a man. You decide what you want to do. You decide if you want to go direct or indirect, right? Because whatever you feeling you should do, that's right, right? doesn't matter what anybody tells you. That's right. And whatever happens happen but at the end of the day you want to do what you feel like doing as a man right so if you want to go and express yourself directly go and do that if you want to go indirect and be a little smooth or a little more efficient or whatever you want to call it go do that but point is really you know you want to get to a point where when you see a woman you find attractive just make the decision that's going to make you happy at the end of the day you know stop taking it so seriously like oh, you know, I got to get her number or, oh, I have to get her on a date or whatever. Like that's, that's too much that you're going too far. You're missing, missing the steps. It's like first make the decision. Okay. I'm going to approach this woman and you know, uh, how do I feel about this? Like your feelings going to come up. Okay. All right. I'm going to go on with this feeling and I'm just going to have, go and have this new experience with this, this woman that I don't know. You don't know what she's how she's going to react to you. You don't know what state she's from, what country she's from. You know, she may be super friendly. She may be where she's from. Maybe strangers don't don't communicate like that. And she may, may you know, be threatened by you or whatever. You don't know what's going to happen. So you have to just accept. Basically, it's like you're walking into the unknown. But you got to, you, as a man, you got to get learn to embrace the unknown, right? Because that's like a manly characteristic. Right. Being able um, one of the survival value successful risk taker, you got to be willing to take risk as a man. Right. But, you know, there's a bunch of like different details I can go into. I just want to make this quick video, you know, like when it comes to approaching a woman, you know, the first thing is really just accepting how you feel about the approach. Right. Whether you feel nervous, whatever it is, accept it. Don't fight it. Don't resist it. Don't try to pretend it's not there. Then go with it and have the experience. Right. The, the key thing is to go in as a man and leave as a man. Right. Don't go in pretending to be a man or don't go in pretending to be something you're not or don't go in being a pussy or just go in as a man. All right. This is how I feel. Oh, I'm nervous. All right. Cool. I still got to do it. You know, and you go up and, you know, maybe you might stutter. Maybe you might freeze or whatever. But just the fact that you did it, that's that's what makes you a man. That's courage. Right. You didn't bat, you didn't say, oh, I'm nervous. So that means not, that means I can't do it. Of course you can do it. It just means that you don't have enough experience doing it. Right. And and you don't have enough references to say that, OK, you don't need to be nervous. Right. Because like I said, when I started, I was nervous. But after doing it many times, the nerves go down. You know, you don't feel them as much. Or even if you do feel them, you realize that it's not a reason to not do it. It just means you find the girl attractive. You're excited. You know what I mean? Um, so that's the advice for the video. Um, if you'd like some help with, you know, approaching women, meeting women, 
um, and you know, just improving in your dating life. Uh, send me a private message, let's have a conversation and see what steps you need to take to improve your dating life. Thanks for watching, peace.